Hi friends, and welcome to your yoga practice today with me, Sarah. I'm so glad you're here. Grab your mat and I'll see you there. We're gonna start today's practice laying down on the back. Arriving on the back to begin today's practice and taking a brief centering meditation here. Take an inhale through your nose and exhale, let it out your mouth. And at the end of the exhale, allow yourself to settle into the ground, letting everything else outside the space of the moment fall away as you come into your body and into the present moment, closing your eyes gently so the eyelids barely touch. And take a slow body scan, noticing what areas of the body feel tight and constricted. And you can also notice what areas of the body feel totally at ease and free. starting to become the open and receptive observer for whatever insight might arise in this practice. And tuning into the natural flow of your breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, a tool to bring you into the present and to build a willpower muscle. Every time you guide the focus back, you're building that willpower muscle in your mind to be able to focus and access a sense of gentle discipline. To step on your mat and take time for yourself in a regular basis. On your next inhale breath, stretch your arms overhead and find a full lengthening, finding a nice curve through your lower back when you inhale. Flex your feet. When you exhale, gently hug your right knee in toward your side waist. Pawamukhatasana. Traction the right thigh in toward the side rib. Flex the feet lightly as you drop your left thigh down to the floor. Then let's go ahead and slide that left foot on the ground. Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Find that figure four pose. Working here or threading the needle and taking your hands in your left knee crease or the front of your left shin. Flexing your feet to get a little more active and take a gentle rock side to side. Loosening up the right hip and staying relaxed in the back of the head and the area between the shoulder blades. Pausing to linger and let your mind move into the area of the most sensation. Traction the legs a little closer in toward you, and then lightly uncross, bring your feet on the ground. Now hug your left knee in toward your side rib and slide your right leg out long. Squeeze that left thigh in gently, trying to bring your left knee into your underarm. Right inner thigh spirals down and light flexing of the feet as you breathe, always returning to a smooth and easy, steady breath. Now step your right foot on the ground, cross your left ankle on top, working there if that's where you're feeling most comfortable, or thread the needle and find that figure four on this side with your hands in front of the shin or in the right knee crease, lightly flexing the feet and pressing gently that left head of your thigh bone, the femur bone, plugging itself right into the left hip socket. And subtly rocking can help to release and unwind your lower back. Keep relaxed in the center of your chest and in your jaw. And hug the legs a little closer in. Uncross, come into a full happy baby, reaching for the outside of the feet or ankles. Soles of feet face the sky. Long line from crown to tail. Gently rocking and massaging out your back. And then go ahead and release soles of feet together, knees splay open, and slide the heels away from your tailbone, letting the knees fall open. Lightly interlace the hands behind your head, and then scoop your head, point your elbows toward the ceiling. Squeeze your knees in, and bring your knees toward your elbows as you exhale. On your inhale, open your knees, hover your feet, open your elbows, and then exhale, we're gonna sweep in, Elbows to knees and waking up our core. On the inhale, it's prayer feet. Feet press, elbows open. Exhale, 
I'm gonna hug in and build a little fire in the belly. Inhale, open, and exhale, hug in. Three more, inhale, open, and exhale, ribs in. Inhale, and exhale. Whatever range of motion is available. One more, inhale, and exhale. Try to touch the knees to the elbows, elbows to the knees. Then bring your feet on the ground, mat with distance, cactus arms, windshield wiper, knees flowing from side to side. Nice soft jaw and eyes and neck. And when you windshield wiper to the right, go ahead and roll to your right hand side, very slowly rolling to the right hand side, pausing, and then gradually pressing up into a cross leg seat. Finding a cross-legged seat to arrive with a nice length right up from the lower back, up through that space between the shoulder blades, right up through the crown of the head. And let's go ahead and take our right fingertips over to the right and slide your right fingertips away from your hip and sweep your left arm up and overhead. And breathe through that left side seam. Spiral that left pinky right in toward your ear, right in toward that center midline. And inhale, when you exhale, drape the left elbow down toward the rib, come back to center, and slide your left fingertips over, tented fingers or palm to the floor. Stretch your right arm up and overhead. Keep that right sitting bone moving toward the floor as you stretch all along that right side seam. And you can either be looking neutral or up toward the ceiling. And we'll inhale, reach, 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 exhale, slowly drag that right elbow down toward your outer right hip. And coming forward, take your hands in front of your, your <laughs> take your hands on the outsides of your knees, scoop your knees in, flex your feet, cross your other ankle on top, then let your knees open, and then start to walk your fingertips forward. Tented fingers, inch your way forward, coming into that sukhasana forward fold. With the feet lightly flexed, we feel that in the outside of your hips. And you could rock a little bit side to side. Then lift your gaze between your hands and roll over your knees and make your way into a tabletop position. Finding a tabletop position with toes tucked under, fan your fingers wide. Look down and see that the first fingers are parallel. And let's send the hips toward the heels. And on the inhale, slide forward. Walk your hands forward. Look forward. And on the exhale, press back, hips to heels. And on the inhale, wave forward. And exhale, press back. Inhale, slide forward. Bring that right knee forward wider than the right wrist. Flex your right foot and slide your left leg out. Keep the back toes tucked. Come up onto tented fingers. Keep rolling that left hip point toward the front of your mat. Drop your shoulders down, lift your chest, and look up. Inhale there. Exhale, plant the palms. Inch that left knee forward, and then slide that right knee back. Coming into a child's pose with toes tucked, and lifting your knees and finding a downward dog. Pedaling out your feet. Bending one knee at a time pretty deeply, and then dropping one heel at a time to get into the calf muscle. Coming to pause with both knees a little soft and pressing the heels of the hands forward as you lift the sitting bones high. And then we'll roll into a plank. And then bring your knees down. On your exhale, press back hips to heels. And when you inhale, slide that left knee forward a little wider than your left wrist. Slide your right leg back, but keep the toes tucked. Come up to tented fingers, dropping your shoulder blades onto the back, and then gently turn your face up. Breathing deeply into any tension in your belly. Feeling the heads of the arm bones plug right into the shoulder sockets. And can we put a little less pressure in your fingertips? Inhale, exhale, look down, plant your palms, inch your right knee out, and then unwind, slide that left knee back, and make your way up coming into downward dog. Stretching the sitting bones high. Gradually straightening the legs over time. 
finding the length through your lower back. Lift your heels high, come onto tiptoes and start to tiptoe forward, all the way forward, right between the thumbs. And then inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, fold, let your head hang, Uttanasana. Bring the belly toward the thighs. And then drop the tail, gather the belly. Slowly come up and find your Tadasana mountain pose. Take your hands to your hips. From Tadasana, slide your hands into imaginary back pockets. With soft knees, lift your chest and take a little back bend. Inhaling here, and then exhale, start to melt the belly down over the thighs. And as you fold, interlace your fingers and wring the arms away from the back, letting your head hang down. And we'll inhale, and we'll exhale, let it out. And let the crown of head melt right between the heels, gradually straightening your legs. And then slowly, with control, gently release your hands down, bending your knees quite a bit. Plant your palms and take a couple big steps back to downward dog again. Feeling the length of the sitting bones up. And wave to a plank pose. Bring your knees down, shoulders on the back. Spread your chest. Come into a, a modified version of upward dog. Engaging your gluteal muscles. Rooting through the index finger and thumb. And we'll inhale, look up. Exhale, lift the belly, come into a tabletop, walk your knees forward, cross your ankles, pressing the hands into the mat. Walk your hands toward your knees, sit behind your heels. Uncross and slide your legs out straight. And then take your fingertips right on top of your shoulders. Lift your knees up a little bit. On your inhale, look up. On your exhale, belly in. Start to come back, pull the belly in. And then inhale, open, look up, and then exhale, round, belly in. And inhale, and exhale, as elbows touch, unwind your arms forward, come all the way onto your back. When you arrive on the back, gently draw your right knee in, flex your feet, and extend your right foot up toward the ceiling, pressing your right heel toward the sky, and take your hands, walk them up toward the calf, Maybe even reaching up to touch your toes. Let your right lower back drop toward the floor. Draw the right leg a little closer toward your body, keeping the back of your head and the area between the shoulder blades resting. Good. Pressing that left heel away from the hip. And then slowly release and float the arms overhead as you root through your left heel and start to press your right heel all the way away. And then when you rest your right heel, hug your left knee in for a squeeze, just a moment, and press your left heel up, hands behind the thigh or up toward the calf or reaching for the toes. And as you draw that left thigh toward you, you inch the center of that left heel straight up toward the sky. Breathing there. And inhale little bit of moving of that leg toward the body and then as you exhale release the arms overhead and start to slowly press that left heel away and release it down big full inhale stretch when you exhale take a cactus bring the soles of feet together let the knees splay open relax your shoulders and Pausing there just for a moment to let the tailbone fall toward the toes. We're going to gather then the thigh bones right into the hip sockets and gently squeeze your knees in. Bring your feet mat width distance apart and knock your knees in to touch. Let's take a cactus arm. And we're taking our final meditation here in constructive rest pose. Feeling the outer feet melt into the ground and the broad quality of the lower back supported by the floor so that the entire pelvis can feel soft. The belly is fluid. And as you inhale, the belly expands gently. And as you exhale, the belly 
hollows back toward the spine. Scan along the entire spine from the nape of the neck down between the shoulder blades, down into the curve of the low back, down into that triangular arrowhead shaped sacrum that falls toward the space between your toes. And when you inhale, the tailbone catches that breath like a catcher's mitt. And when you exhale, the breath flows up and out through the crown of the head. Let go a little more into relaxing and letting all the systems of the body be in harmony. And let's find a gratitude practice for this moment in time. What do you have to be grateful for? Inviting that into your mind, your heart, your cells. Insert to windshield wiper, side to side, massaging out your back. Letting go of anything you want to release away. We're going to take our time to roll slowly to the left-hand side. Honoring all that is right now, complete and whole as is. Slowly take your time to press up to sit. We're arriving back up in an upright cross-legged seat, sitting tall, letting the shoulders glide down, taking the hands together and bowing the chin toward the chest. I'm wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and trust on the journey. Namaste. So, so grateful for your presence here and very appreciative. If you can like, share, subscribe, even hit that super thanks button and support my channel, that would be amazing. And I look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Take care.